In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a multimedia PowerPoint presentation using Microsoft PowerPoint Mac 2011. So yes, this is Microsoft Office for Mac for those of you using Apple computers. This multimedia PowerPoint presentation will go over how to insert background designs or themes, video files, photos, graphics like charts and clip art, audio files, and then do recorded voiceover narration and slide timings. Do not apply animation effects while you build your PowerPoint. They will be lost in the conversion process from a PowerPoint presentation file to a QuickTime movie when we do that at a later time. What you will need. You need PowerPoint Mac 2011 on your computer. If you have an older version, these instructions may work sufficiently for you as well. You need a microphone to record your voiceover and speakers or headset so you can hear your playback. Slide one, let's look at how do you choose a design or a background. I recommend that you choose a very simple readable background with a clear font. Less is more. So in order to change the background, you want to go up to the ribbon up here in the top left and click on themes. Then you have a whole bunch of themes and there's a bunch more down the road if you click on this arrow. So right now we've selected only this slide number three with the orange frame around it. If we right click it can say apply to selected slides which will only be slide three or by default it will apply to all slides if I simply just click on this icon right here. So I don't want to change my whole background so I'm going to right click and say apply to selected and just change slide number three. There's my simple background. Let's move on. Next we're going to look at how to insert a video. Here's a little video file. So let's just delete this and walk through the steps. Down here it says click home on the ribbon. So up here on the left is home. And way over here to the right we find media. If we drop down the menu you can find movie from file. That's a video you have saved somewhere on your computer that you're working on. We will choose that and I keep my movies in my movie folder. You might have yours somewhere else. You'll have to navigate to it. Here's the video I'd used, Cougar News Intro. You can preview that right here before you insert and make sure it's really the video clip you want. Once you're confident, hit the insert button down here and it throws it in and pretty much covers up the whole slide. As a rule, you really do want video to be large on the screen so those watching it can see all the detail. But for the purpose of this training video, I am going to resize it by grabbing one of the corner little grab handles and dragging it to the center and it resized it. Then I can move it and stick it right up here. And there it is. I can preview it. All right, it works. But one last thing that's really important before you move on. You have to make PowerPoint play this video automatically when this slide shows up. In order to do that, you click on this video and it causes this purple format movie tab to show up. Right underneath it, under movie options, is start on click. That means you'd have to click your mouse to make your video play. Our goal is ultimately to convert this PowerPoint presentation into a video. You can't use spacebar 
hits and mouse clicks when you're watching a video. So we have to set everything to automatic. So we simply click up here and choose automatically. So it will start automatically when my slideshow plays. Let's move on. Next, inserting photos. I've got a couple photos up here. We can delete one. And let me show you a different way to insert media. The last way we went to themes. This way, I'm going way up to the top to the insert menu and it drops down and here you have insert photo, insert audio, insert movie. Same stuff, just a different way. Pick whatever you like. I'm going to choose picture from file and it takes me to my picture folder and that's where I keep my pictures. So here's a penguin. You can preview it and go yep that's what I want and hit insert. Now it throws it in the middle because it doesn't know where you want it. So your job is to drag it and resize it as you see fit. That's it for pictures. Next, inserting graphics like clip art or inserting graphs and charts. Again, clip art, you can go insert and there's clip art. For the graphs, there is also up here a place to put in charts. And if you go there, it'll jump you to Excel and give you a bunch of pre-made charts and graphs and tables. And you just input your category names and your quantities. And it builds really cool automatic graphs and charts for you to share data. And you can also see up here in the ribbon is charts. And here's what a lot of these chart styles look like. Again, when you click on it, it's going to jump you to Excel and you punch in the values and it will make a really slick chart for you and insert it. And you just resize it and remove it. Let's move on to sound. Inserting audio. There might be times that you want some sound playing in the background, whether it's a song an interview or some interesting sounds that you've recorded as you share your presentation. You can do that the same way we've been doing everything. We can go to either home, back to media, and here's audio. Audio from file takes me to my music folder and there's my iTunes songs but I've also stuck in here a little lion roaring audio clip, something short. And again, you can preview it right here before you hit insert. So I'm going to hit insert. And there's my speaker icon. I can preview it by hitting the play button. And you can even adjust the volume up and down if it's a little too loud compared to the rest of your slideshow. This sound whether it's a song or a recording, has to start automatically. So once again, when you click on this icon, it brings up this temporary purple tab saying Format Audio. And again, default is on the mouse click. We don't want that. You want automatically. Final step, slide six, recording slideshow narrations and slide timing. Basically what you're doing is you have a microphone hooked up to your computer and you are clicking through the slides of your slideshow and you are narrating and explaining what is on your slide, the information you want the audience to know. When you're done narrating a slide, you advance to the next slide and you begin narrating that one. So let's take a look at that. We want to number one, be sure your microphone's connected and your computer recognizes it. If you practice recording and you get nothing, you're going to have to go into system preferences, go to the sound area and set your microphone and speaker to whatever you've got plugged in. 
Then you're going to click slideshow on the ribbon. And again, you can do that here. And here's a record button. Or you can do it up here from the drop down menu and hit record slideshow. Now, before I hit that, I need to make sure I start back on slide one. And let's do that. We're going to hit the record button. We get this whole new screen. You can see down here in the bottom right, current slide is now recording 8 seconds, 9 seconds, 10 seconds. And I should be talking about my slide, how to create a multimedia PowerPoint presentation. When I'm done reading, I simply can hit the space bar or the right arrow key or a mouse click and advance to the next slide. Slide two, what you will need. Slide three, choosing a design. Slide four, I stopped it early because when you record this, you got to let your videos finish playing before you move on to your next slide. Same with your music or audio recordings. When you're finally done, you can stop recording by hitting the escape key. And it says total time for your slideshow. Here it is over here, a minute five. And it says, do you want to save it? Or if you know you messed up, just hit no and you can try it again. But if we hit yes, this is what we get. It automatically jumps to the slide sorter view. And you can see these numbers in gray down here. This slide was 27 seconds up. This one stayed up for six. This stayed up for four and so on. And you can see the little speaker icons because it has my narration. These other slides don't because I didn't finish my narration. So you can play from the start and preview it. Play it back. You can hear me narrating my narration. So I won't record over my recording, but you get the gist. It should play through and everything go automatically. If so, congratulations, you have successfully created a fully automatic multimedia presentation that your audience is going to love. As always, if you have questions, comments, or feedback, send it to us at virtualmpd at gmail.com.